Hey Kaz, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Alive, I suppose. Okay, it's ominous. Playing the first stalker game on your PS5? Oh, nice. Yeah, I do want to go back to Gamma at some stage. I think when there's a quieter time with all the other playthroughs, we'll go back to Gamma on a Sunday or something like that. Just, it doesn't do well for me. But I want to play it. So we flew through a little uh, ore asteroid, and it was just telling us that we didn't have the storage for it. Don't you love a good migraine on a Sunday? Ugh. Sorry to hear that if you have a migraine. how our falcon does. Rough stuff. I'd look, there's nothing worse than um, pain in your head that you can't shake. Like, it's nothing you can really do about it, right? points he did travel drive straight to us instead of 150 odd meters away now what's he gonna do that he's under the ship he's traveling to that point where he's gonna transition into docking love the camera just to be sat at one perspective meds destroy even more yeah I tried to, to avoid taking, like, um, you know, Panadol and all that kind of stuff as much as possible. Just 
not because of any conspiracy or anything, just <laughs> I prefer um, to be able to deal with it. But I am a masochist. Alright, we don't have teleportation yet. Bet you've got some nice lift. Are you fucking kidding me? Where are you? I I do have I have great lift. Come here. Beautiful idiot. <laughs> I have more crew capacity now. Better put the two guns on. I did, I really did. Is he heading towards my Phoenix? He is, isn't he? Stay right here. Camera sitting at a fixed point was making it rather pointless before. Depends on what you want. Because having the external camera, sometimes you just want to like watch your fighter do something, but you don't want to get motion sickness. Not the, uh, it's not the one, like, sitting behind you is fine, but when you go into free look mode, you're, you're, you want free look mode. There should be the option to have it follow, and then an option to have it sit there. Because for the likes of me, sometimes I want to pilot my capital ship from third person, but I want to uh, move it around while staring at a fixed point. Like, I'll often do like um, flybys around an enemy that I want to move my capital ship around, but I want to be watching a certain thing while I'm doing it. Now, buddy. I have a little process here that I'm going to show you. You may have noticed that I came here in uh, Phoenix too. Technically, you asked for it. Oh, we're about to double our fleet. I might have to put Argon in uh, quotes. By the time we're finished with the scale plate. Oh, you have a Paranid turret. Nice. Wait, hey, no. I need to get an angle on that. Let's get an angle on the small one here. Hey, Dark Maiden, how are you doing? Hopefully you can get a behemoth or two of them. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I'm carrying antimatter cells, that's right. Um, yeah, well, we could sell this and buy a behemoth. That's, that's the other side of it, is that um, this is going to give us a nice little bit of money. I wish you could do a War Thunder on it and shoot the barrel. <laughs> Wait, did he only have one small turret there? Uh, I'm nearly there. I think I'm at like 15 or 16. But our 
miners are all working in Aragon territory, so it won't take too long. See that there? The, the camera's slightly uh, jarring a little bit. I like the new sound effects. The bullet's hitting the metal. I like that. Let's uh, finish off these turrets and we'll call in our phoenix. Well, I'll just go pilot my phoenix and we'll board it. Um, somehow I doubt I will give you, let me give you 20 mil. No, no, don't worry. I mean like as part of it. I'd say as a full crew. Uh oh. Did you do it to me, no? Oh, we're screwed. What happened there? So we're getting hit by plasma turrets there. Okay, we're back. Uh, combat seems slow. It can be slow enough, but again, like we're we're just one fighter taking out um, capital ship components, so it's not going to be the quickest thing. I feel like I should get out and repair a bit. He's not moving anywhere for a minute. I'm gonna do a quick little bit of repair. Where to God, if you fly away, I I won't have to kill you because you'll be dead. We're at zero percent hull. Nice. Is the repair done out yet? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. I only need a couple of seconds. I don't mind if he gets his engine up for a second, we'll just deal with it again. Like you say, we just have to make sure that we don't burst into flames. Again. I could, of course, just get the Phoenix and deal with it that way. Let's keep him on with Breathe, yeah. Hey, Breaker, sir, how are you doing? I'll do. Right, and he has a plasma turret up the front. Things are a little bit different. Sorry, it's going to get loud.
Yeah, there's a few nice little improvements around everything, really. Hi, Dark. Um, I am very much liking it. But this little thing, this is a little bit overpowered. Currently shooting through the hole. But I would say, yeah, a lot of the game does just feel a bit better. That needs to be fixed. The bolter's passing through the hull and hitting targets. I'm going to use it. Oh, actually. Hey, Kev, how's it going? Hello, Raiders. We're assaulting your ears right now, but it's for a good cause. After playing the beta, you can't go back. Yeah, that's kind of what I was worried about. Okay. Yeah, that needs to be fixed. And um, so I'd noticed the projectiles going through ships, but I didn't realize they were damaging components on the far side. And like I said, I am going to use it. Yeah, like, currently we're in... Hold on, let me just kill this turret and then I can move away a bit. So currently we're in scan mode. Oh, right here, top turrets. Um, as you can see, because the EY has gone purple, so I can go into long range scan mode. I can go into travel mode. Um, the UI changing color is really nice as well. And all of that can be adjusted with colorblind mode. The useless flaps, yeah. They make the pilot feel better. Phoenix. Something like that. Um, that engine you're fixing, not anymore. So, um. Pretty much every color can be adjusted, it's kind of nuts, but in a good way. Okay, let's, uh, let him meet his brother. Plus, I already primarily played in third person, so I have a proper road. Yes, I, I like playing around in third person also, as people may have noticed. Still open the fixed. Yeah, it's it's funky in the middle of a fight because it it stunts the um, the camera a little bit when it starts messing around between two. I was like, where is he? Phoenix. Over there. Do, 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 do. This time I'm carrying a lot more. 21 crew defending. We're going to lose, but that's okay. We win in the long run. I have a secret weapon in this.
There's about a half inch of the camera at different angles depending if you have something tired yet. Yeah, it bugs me too. We are gonna lose because he has a bunch of crew, but that's okay. Centered, really. The way it shunted there is uh, kind of annoying. Phoenix, E. See? What's it doing? You can also see that uh, my turrets are shooting through my own ship as well. Then we can do hull damage. never matched any of your weapon dots and you were playing the what the ur kanji you were saying yeah oh sound bug Okay, so 
Dun, dun, dun. Do that now. Uh, how many crew have you got? Phoenix. Nine. Well, I guess I need to wait. That's right, I forgot that. I do need to wait for the crew to get here. I know we've severely damaged it now, but I was hoping a bunch of his crew would just pop out. Sometimes they do, they're preparing that one. Plus side is not going to take nearly as long. Did he drop some cargo? I'm not talking to you. Still not here. So they have put a bit of a delay on that because it was a bit broken. That you could just. Uh, for a crew instantly Phoenix. across the galaxy. I'm not talking to you. Dun, 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 dun. Give it a minute. Phoenix. Oh, you've already got your crew? That's fantastic, because now... Do you notice... Oh, you haven't got me. We only have eight actual crew, but then we have a total of 34, so they are on their way.
mammoth phoenix. close. Uh, we'll do it anyway. Laser turret, never noticed it. You son of a bitch. I think he, yeah, that, that delays our timeline a few minutes. We're doing one for oh it's a mark two as well. Of course it is. together um all right then go back and get more marines please uh you need to transfer crew from that and then you need to go crew Phoenix E He did lose four crew Another I in take was choice one oh beautiful How's the station holding up He is down to five crew now, so that's not too bad. As long as he doesn't deploy another beckon laser tower. We'll get another Phoenix. Put a big crew in it. Let it repair up over time. We'll probably just sell it. Engage one of the defense stations. Oh. Oh, I see. It's being sneaky. Keep shooting this guy for a while.
I mean, he hasn't asked us to stop. He just keeps going on about the serious damage. A lot of hull damage, yeah. <sighs> Indeed. I need to transfer her over them, don't I? I didn't transfer her over the second group of crew. That's going to be another minute. Oh yeah, we'll be max crew then. Okay, so we'll get those crew over. Might even have a few survivors. Phoenix. Not worried about that though. The whole damage we can kind of just... We can let this sit in the headquarters or around the headquarters and um, repair up a bit. It'll be fine. <clears throat> Impossible to find a uh, Gale Plate HQ. Do they actually have one? <clears throat> and is it in here? Oh, is it in the cove? Okay. Target hull currently is very weak. Oi! Stop that. He has those front facing weapons that I don't want to see. <laughs> I can tank him, but I'm trying to withdraw. They're getting him right in there. Something hit us. Hey, Precursor. Yeah, we're capturing the ship. Uh, they are going through them now. They only have three crew left. Yep, that's about to be ours. Something beautiful about the vanilla bolters. Bolters in general are beautiful. Okay. Now we're just gonna line her up a little bit there.
I always miss the boulders when I played VRO. See which is the same. Um, I could tell you the difference in off the top of my head now. Starter range in VRO. It's very short range PD in, in real life, yeah. <clears throat> Relative to combat distance, yeah, yeah. So, well, we could wait, get crew on it, and all that stuff. There she is, firing up. put crew on it just so that they can um, slowly repair a few of the modules and stuff. Like, I'll probably keep it. I don't know. I might keep it. Is always miss having the DACA for offensive weaponry? Yeah. Very true. <laughs> the split board bar flak is an acceptable alternative. It ain't bad. Just need a 40k mod now that gives us macro cannons. It's gonna get this engine up to 100%. That means the drones will start working on the next engine. Once I give this thing crew. Unless I killed all the drones. Because I don't see one flying around. Right. At least the ship is mobile. Don't mind the flames. Phoenix E. The size of the drone bay compared to the airlock. Excellent. We now another phoenix. We just need to find the behemoth of ease. Now, <clears throat> we have some crew on this. Oh, it's shields are up. Good. I could, I could give him some of our crew. Give them all of our crew, uh, our able crewmen. Uh, 
And then he's going to go here and uh, just pick up more crew. And uh, actually, he's going to do a transfer. Oh god, uh, I'm on INB. We'll take all of the Marines. We should back to the one the Dutch. Technically, that's what we're doing. Technically. And he's away. That Beckon laser tower. Uh, again, I love the little effects, you know. The little effects. We fear it won't be much worth much more. That's why we're getting crew for it and letting it repair on its own instead of paying for repairs. Right, how's our trader doing? Ides, you have a couple more trades to do. We're going to stick with the hull parts. Sure, buy, buy seven of those. Thanks. And put all of them. And at least we've contributed to this. Of all people, you think that the uh, the boron? Yeah, I don't want to do that because it's it's you know an illegal wear in some parts. Vanilla auto trading is still not great. Um, I'm doing this. This is a specific mission. So this is to aid in the construction of this shipyard. So I just want to have him just do a few runs. We don't need to deliver everything. I will actually get him just to local auto trade in a little while. But for now, I just want him to deliver parts here so that we uh, take part in this mission. It was tater. I've never used Tater Trade or any of that. Mainly because I shoot stuff. Is that one? What's that mean? I shoot stuff and I know things. Phoenix E. Oh wait, yeah. So, traction is the thing. We were doing a mission. We had mission cargo on this fighter that was at zero percent hull for a little bit. Falcon Vanguard. What if I'm shooting the traders? Also, you can just say, "Hey, provide this station." Oh, really? Yeah. You know, it's something I will look into for future runs. I haven't used them before. Mainly because I was doing kind of um, themed runs. And again, I haven't really done much. Uh, like the last last Enterworlds run we did, we had no production. That was the Rebel Cell. The one before that we did was the Bounty Hunter. We were just using the bounty hunting mechanic. The next one we do is the Imperial Warlord. And that's going to be full production. So I'm hoping that the uh, Okinawa Research Rednots mod is going to be updated for that as well. Falcon Vanguard. Sir. 
Yeah, Intoros is fantastic. He's been sleeping in the cap, chair his arm on his knee. Immediately fire him. He's the replacement. We fired the last guy because he didn't wear any pants. Oppo, he didn't say hello. That's not great, though. What's not great? That Shulo works in both the mods. We need the co lead dev on Interworlds, and he does VRO then. And then he works for Egosoft as well. So, <laughs> he's a busy man. He wasn't wearing pants? Oh, our Taladi pilot. He also didn't greet me when I came onto the ship, so we fired him. Well, we didn't fire him, we demoted him. He's a crew member on the transport ship now. Phoenix E. Borons don't wear pants either. They wear suits that they cover up. That actually, that was that was my point. Is like of all the species that should be wearing protective clothing, it should be the Taladi. A cold-blooded race up in space like this. Oof. Okay, you're heading back. Uh, as long as you don't get ambushed there, you'll be fine. The guppy, no, the grouper. The two drills are mining. Excellent. Oh, he could have just gone there. Little herbicide. Liver 20 herbicide. No. Right, we're just going to let him finish what he's doing now and then we're good to go there so we'll let other people finish this mission because I don't hear about it that much unless we decide just to build us a few stations here or something um who's planting nav beacons why are there nav beacons Oh, cigars. Oh, right, yeah, the mission. <laughs> um, I guess we could do that. Positioning ships at those locations. Gotcha. Actually, how much money do we have? Not much. I have been buying marines. Docking. Okay, we'll let him dock and then he can fly over here and we'll do the mission. Nah, screw it. Come over here now.
He won't take too long to get over here. In the meantime, we can just wait for the next um, scale plate uh, dumbass to turn up. Oh yeah. Um, I completely forgot to do the shout out for Kev. Doing a bunch of games this morning. Finishing up with Stellaris. Yeah, Slaris is, is very fun, yeah. <clears throat> it is indeed. Seems very quiet around here. And all the builders. What are all the builders doing all around here? That's a resupply. Those two builders there. We went into Hitikba's Choice 3 and there was like four builders just sitting there. The one time I'm not building a bunch of different stations. Doing the bore on arc for the first time. Got to the part where you can choose what missions to do. So I gotta get a ship reward, but you gotta spend multiple times the cost of the ship to do the mission. <laughs> the thing, all right. Oh, was that the one where you like go meet people and stuff? Alright, grouper is on its way. I do have a bit of money invested in trade, so uh, once our boy gets that done, we'll be alright. Go is to build the defense station. Um... As we were saying before, at the end of the... If you get to the end of the Boron campaign, you get a, a bit of money out of it. You're in it for the long game. It's a oh yeah I know the one you're on about yeah it is it's it's unique but isn't it just the same as the other version? What's what's the difference? It's a unique named ship, but what's the difference? Isn't it like slightly faster or something like that? I can't remember I looked at it before. The Regal, yeah. Of course, yeah, it's not on our list, of course. Uh, is it in the it's in the wharf but can you actually complete the purchase So I'll go back doing what I was doing and um Thank you for your support. We're far from home, short on hands, and have additional tasks which need doing. If you're interested, please meet me on our ship. 
Do I have to? Check the Boron War. It won't be there in the Boron War for me because I haven't unlocked Kingdom's End yet. I've only done the very start of the, the Boron campaign. I haven't gone into uh, there yet, so they won't have it. For you, it unlocked at the same time as the normal Hydra. Yeah, but you've been to Kingdom's End, haven't you? They're two different factions. Yeah, I, I haven't progressed that yet. I just, uh, I didn't want to bother dealing with the CAC. Uh, oh, yeah, let's go talk to him. Hello. See? Thanks, Caroline. That easy. That's how you keep your job. Falcon, Vanguard. Hmm. I want to get this done so I can get this ship out of the way so that I'm not tempted to shoot it every time I go past. Yeah, that is unfortunate, isn't it, actually? On the plus side, um, someone doing a Xenon mod is going to have a much easier time than what they had to do previously. Greetings. Losing access to our research facility was what prompted this expedition. Now we have not only located our facility, but also taken precautions. If it disappears from under our noses again, we won't have such a hard time tracking it down. Anyone ever watch Mars Attacks? Just getting uh, that, that kind of vibe. We've prepared some software which will help us regain access, but our ship isn't really inconspicuous enough to plant it on Didn't our like city. it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Should be subtle enough to go unnoticed by the current occupant. It will be your job to plant it at this location, identified by our analysts. According to the annotation on the station plans, there should be a signal leak next to what looks like either a valve or a window, but you'll find out when you get there. You know what a valve or a window looks like? Because they're two very different things. A valve or a window. Oh, also, yeah, do you know that? That's something I need to do. Hold on a second. Um, game settings, right? No, it's not. We were looking at it the other day, and um, where was it that we could set? 
the default for the camera when we got into the ship. Getting the eye blurring glow back. Oh no, no. I like the idea of it, but it's when there's actually stuff going on on screen, it's a bit much. Yeah, I don't mind the idea, but it's if it could be toned down a little bit, even on low. I wouldn't mind it. Um, where did we see that? wasn't in the controls, was it? It was all the same. Yeah, I've, I found that on a couple of things. I'll go reduced game speed. What's this? Um, what do you do? Nothing. Oh my god, there's a slow-mo. I can get a smooth slow-mo. Uh -oh. There's a slider. This is uh this is gonna change things for me in the future. <laughs> hmm. How slow did it, did it actually make that? I mean nice for trailers? Yeah, yeah. That's uh, Imagine um, a tiny interceptor squadron firing slow motion at a, an X-wing squadron. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, okay. Oh god, I've wanted to do that for a while because in Interworlds you get these awesome shots of like fighter squadrons merging or attacking a fleet or stuff, and I've always wanted to slow it down. So that's actually really good. Gameplay wise, you didn't see you sir yet. I suppose if you didn't want to pause. If you didn't want to pause, but you wanted to give orders while stuff was still moving. That might be a thing. Oh, I need to scan. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> well, that's the other side of things. Yeah. You know, some people are going to really enjoy the slower pace of being able to do things. But like I said, without having to pause. set to uh, a toggle button there now. Chief 
actually you need to look at the station. <laughs> sound was not pleasant i was gonna say let's hope that that one doesn't get stuck or let's hope it doesn't auto save in the middle of that Dude, yeah you're watching a game with like bright flashing lights and stuff it's like <laughs> research Oh, you got flashbang protection? Fair. One second. Slow it down a bit. Nice soothing music for uh, Gary's headache. Migraine. What is it now? It'll hopefully drown out his voice. And mine. Oh, um Boran gave me this. What is this? He he gave you our research? Unbelievable. But you were supposed to plant software. How did that happen? He uploaded it. I clearly underestimated this Boron and his capabilities. This means we can continue with Project Genesis. It is our uttermost priority. We'd better not make an enemy of the Boron, so we'll leave him in possession of our station for the time being. We'll have to come back better prepared if we want to recover our station. I didn't think we'd make progress this fast. Regardless, we could do with a little more of your assistance. You'll be helping one of our associates in acquiring research that is vital to Project Genesis. An independent scientist. Let me contact them. Oh. Greetings. We are sending you the pilot you requested. Uh, is this the Jehovah pilot? Yes. Oh, the Scottish pilot. Don't worry. This one's at least a two-star pilot. Expecting him at the edge <laughs> Okay. He is heading your way. That settled. Report to Kuramon Common. They are experimenting with a phenomenon in the void and will instruct you on your part once you get there. This may seem unconnected at first, but rest assured, you are helping mold our future. It seems that you are missing crucial spacesuit equipment. Take this with you. It will be useful later on. They are hoping to colonize a planet as a new home for their people. The Terrans once meddled with such terraforming technology, which resulted in the creation of the Zeus. Let us hope that the Cigarist pioneers are not repeating their Yeah, you used to rescue him from um, a split station, yeah. As we were saying, that's gone now. Uh, do I have any loot on me that I want to sell at the pre-port? Nothing crazy. Where that encrypted report? All right, our other Phoenix E is hanging out there. That's grand. <laughs> Regaining um Um he the irritating ship has gone. Great wing nebula is no longer close. 
chemistry is so behind that peculiar radiation. Well done, assistant. And maybe you got destroyed and they're rebuilding it. Um, if you so not uh, if when you now contact him because of the boron expansion uh, he'll basically give you a heads up uh in yeah there you go gives you coordinates for heretics end so when you get into heretics end what happens if you don't have the boron dlc and he just pops the station in there now you don't have to get a ship and get all the little bits and all that kind of stuff Oh, do you know what we'll do? Um, let's leave that phoenix there. Yeah, you must get the normal one. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Jump gate, morning star. But then, does he... Pop in and grand exchange then, or what? Boom, 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 boom. Jump gate, morning star. We need a name for the other phoenix because we're going to change the name. Entering system, Morning Star. Phoenix with an F. Um, no, eh, we'll, we'll go with something a bit, a bit different. We'll, you'll see. You'll see what. Something we were going to do earlier, but now that we have a second phoenix. Usually the accomplished scientist start because the node end is your favorite starter and you start with the whole core network available. I, I do like the node end as a fighter. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I'm going to do Phoenix Ash and Fire. Well, this, this Phoenix is going to be bright pink. Paint job is there, we have to use it. Entering system, a tick bus choice. Light red. A very pale red. Neon pink it is. Arian, it was actually you that were saying it, wasn't it? So I don't know the reference. I might know the reference, but... Possible that I don't. Possible that I forgot. Oh, red versus blue. Yeah. Phoenix E. God, it's a year since I watched that. Last time I watched it, I watched through the entire set. Phoenix E. So much stuff knocking around my head that I just forget stuff. You used that to learn English back in the day? My god. <laughs> I 
Keeping the lights on, nice. Docking granted. Everything is fine. Perfectly fine. Fuel didn't really cut it. Ah, yeah, sometimes, you know. What? Oh, don't do this to me. Actually, yeah, this happened to me um, already. But yeah, I might just um, do, do that one. Uh, I need that one. Yeah, I've had it twice now. Oh, that's a thing, isn't it? You need to go back to the menu to load a new game. That's weird. Does that pay work? Oh, play open universe looking. Okay. Yeah, that's. Isn't that because of timelines? Mm. Shattered Hull by Alexei Zakharov. Didn't fix it. Falcon Vanguard. Oh. Why did I get talk over here? I was is that what's going on? Hold on a second. Oh no, we can't get down there. Thinking the placement is the down there for some reason. Is what it seems like, so like can't talk to him there, but for church. Oh yeah, look. There's even a marker. Wait, do they all have a marker on their feet? Okay, so that's definitely a, um, a beta thing. Can I help? Oh. 
What's up? Very demoting and firing the pile. The issue there is, um, I should still be able to interact with that, but yeah, we will. Um, Can I help? Janet. Acknowledged. Yeah, that's what I was uh, afraid of there. Can I use one of the other terminals? I can use the other terminals. Gunnery. Hmm. Got a big cat hive in Heretic Sense. That'll happen. You should go get missions to kill Kak and then come back and destroy it. Uh, do, 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 do. Janet is now captain again. I don't need to pilot the ship. That's fine. I just needed to dock with the shipyard. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That was the... That Sir? was the Falcon. <clears throat> Never to destroy one. Usually I play with the mod that makes them do no damage. <laughs> Fair enough. They can be kind of annoying to destroy just because of the, the hitbox. Ooh, that's actually something we need to test. Because we had been kind of discussing that on stream with... Um, Somebody in chat, Mister. Basically, uh, we were talking about like the shipyards having an issue where the turrets would fire at the very center, and obviously there's nothing there. Lurkin, no worries, Dark. But well, it was the same thing with the cack. Um, you have to get to a very specific angle to fire the building, even though it could be directly in front of you. It would be nice if they'd fixed that. I didn't see it in the notes, but I might have missed it. Oh yeah, have you ever tried shooting at a shipyard? If you shot at that shipyard from here, it would the turrets would aim right there. Unless they could fire at a specific node over here, I think. But if they couldn't see that, like, like now, they couldn't see that very specific part, they wouldn't fire at all. So you'd have to try and maneuver until they could see it. It's an issue when you're attacking a shipyard. Huh. Hope that doesn't screw up our other Phoenix. Anyway, he'll get docked. It's a maneuverable ship. They put out the fires. Building a new behemoth. I knew I could count on you. I knew I could count on you. Oh. That's going on. It thinks. It thinks I'm still on the Falcon. That that's the issue there. You can see obviously by the 
mission parameters there, it's th it still thinks I'm on the Falcon because it's giving me a, a guidance waypoint from here. I must have jumped out when it was uh, not fully landed. I'm pretty sure it was, though. So that's why we can't control the Phoenix because it thinks we're in the Falcon. So um, that's okay. At least we know what it is. Uh, you should be able to get into the Falcon when it redocks here. I'll take off, dock again, and that should work it. It might be the way I went out of the door, out of the hatch on the Falcon or something. But uh, yeah, that could that solves that issue. Do, 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 do. Gather intel, scout enemy mining regions. Oh yeah, just scan a Xenon station. That's no problem. No problem. It's easy. I chuck a, a satellite at it. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I want to do an Aragon run because I do actually like their freighters and stuff, you know. I just I haven't used them. That's they're like the hegemony in Star Sector to me. How is the Falcon going to do? I presume it'll get here before we get into the bay. Should be coming in here pretty quickly. Presume it'll take the same route, it'll come up the front of the ship and over the top. There it is. I told the dock at the station. Okay, well, that's fine. That is fine. Uh, we go to ship dealership. Actually, talk to the faction rep. So we want to get a bit of um, production so that we can start building actual stations. I likely that the CAC installation kills my destroyers if I use coordinate attack. Need to be able to play our BG CDs. Um, CAC stations against destroyers, sh you shouldn't have a problem. As long as you can deal with the swarm that comes in.
Shouldn't be a major problem to your destroyers. Oh, unless they've added, like, a capital ship coming in. <laughs> I don't know if they've added that as a part of that. Don't I have that? You're trying to scam me. Uh, how can I check? Uh, place authority zero. I know that's that's not that. Oh, you're in six point two. No, you should be fine. There's, they have a couple of turret emplacements that might have bigger weapons, but again, your destroyers should be able to take them out. Like I said, it's just um, you want to be able to kill the fighters quickly or else they'll start taking out your turrets and then you might have a bit of an issue. I do like all of this extra stuff. Right then, graphene, sure. Antimatter cells, not so much. Refined metals, absolutely. Ship fluid coolant, might as well. Good luck out there. Gives us options just for. We got eight Osakas and four Behemoths for the. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> I think I think you'll be okay. I think you'll be alright. Uh, da, 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 da. Falcon Vanguard. Oh, he did come in and dock here. It looked like he docked on the station. Docking granted. All right, we're gonna wait for it to dock. Successfully docked. We're going to get up. This could be an issue. I have a feeling that if we can get the teleporter research, it'll fix it if it's an ongoing issue. But is it just an issue with this ship? That's what's going to tell us a lot. Yes, this ship. Phoenix, 